In Greenville, a grim discovery Tuesday afternoon as first responders pulled a body from the Sauhegan River. The body was identified as that of 42-year-old Mary Ellen Casey, who had been reported missing on Monday. At this point, it's unclear exactly what happened, but police found evidence Monday that Casey had been down by the river, swollen by recent rains. At the Merrimack River in Concord, the river is also up, and so is the current. The river is moving rather quickly right now. Just before 7 o'clock Tuesday evening, Concord firefighters got a call for help on the Merrimack. Um, our call had said it was near the Hannah Dustin Monument, um, so we knew that was the area of the Merrimack Street boat launch. Concord Fire says the call came from three Manchester women in their 20s who were tubing, consuming alcohol, and overshot their mark. And they were able to miss their point where they could get it to shore. Um, where they would be able to get to their car, um, and at that point, you're not going to make it back up. Firefighters say the women were not in distress, but just downriver from their location are some rapids. Fortunately, the women were able to send GPS coordinates and were quickly located. Firefighters say the women had failed to take the proper safety precautions. Put them in our boat, gave them life jackets, and run to where they needed to be where their car was parked. Both Fish and Game and the fire department say that rivers and even the tributaries are very different from what they were like at the beginning of the month. With the amount of rain that we've gotten in the last couple weeks, um, they're constantly going up and it's just fast moving. Firefighters say there are a couple of things you can do to make sure that you stay safe around the water. First, always wear a life jacket. And second, let somebody know where you're going and when you expect to be back. Reporting live in Concord, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.